Before 1975, students with disabilities were frequently excluded from public schools entirely or attended public schools that failed to meet their educational needs. The Education of All Handicapped Children Act required public schools to provide all students with a free, appropriate public education. The Supreme Court interpreted the act for the first time in Board of Education v. Rowley. Amy Rowley was a hearing-impaired student attending the Furnace Wood School. Rowley had minimal residual hearing and had excellent lip-reading skills. In kindergarten, the school provided Rowley with a hearing aid and installed a teletype machine in the principal's office to allow effective communication with Rowley's parents, who were deaf. Also, administrators completed sign language interpretation training. Rowley completed kindergarten with an above-average academic performance. The school developed an Individualized Education Plan, or IEP, for Rowley's first grade year. The IEP provided that Rowley would be placed in a general education classroom and continue using the hearing aid. Rowley would also receive speech therapy and special instruction from a tutor for deaf students. Rowley's parents objected, insisting the school provide Rowley with a sign language interpreter. After consulting with the Committee on the Handicapped and a sign language expert, the school concluded the interpreter wasn't a necessary service for Rowley. An independent examiner and the New York Commissioner of Education affirmed the school's decision. Rowley's parents filed suit, alleging that the school denied Rowley a free, appropriate public education in violation of the Education of All Handicapped Children Act. The district court ruled that the act required Rowley to have the opportunity to achieve her full potential and ordered the school to provide a sign language interpreter. The Second Circuit affirmed and the Supreme Court granted cert.